Hi everybody, in this bonus video, we're gonna show you a little trick uh, or workaround with how to get a video back into your Canvas Studio editing platform there that we showed you in the, in the earlier video. Um, because essentially once you upload something, once you've finished editing it, there's technically no direct way to allow you to re-edit it again, okay? But with this workaround, um, it is possible. Now it's not a perfect method, um, it's a little bit fiddly, but it does um, allow you to do that if that's something that you need to do. So let's jump over to our screen here um, and we're going to select the video that we want to re-edit, right? So here's a video that I've already created, it's already published and added into Canvas Studio, but I want to re-edit it. So I'm going to go into my video, I'm going to go to my three dots here in the top right hand corner and select download. And that's just gonna download it to my computer. So I will close that. And now let's just go back to our library here. So the purpose of that step is just to download the video that we already have made. And we're gonna go up to our record button here and select screen capture. So we'll open that screen capture software up again. We'll press open. And now with that open again, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna record just a quick one second of video. The purpose of this is not to record a new video, it's just simply to get um, to that editing screen that we saw before. So let's go to done. That takes us here. Uh, now, instead of engaging in any of the stuff here that we normally would, because we don't want to keep this video, uh, what we're going to do is actually go to this top left hand corner and go to back to recordings. Now, what's um, interesting about this section is um, it's not very easily accessible, but if you are ever recording something and you don't publish it or you want to come back to it later, this is actually where all those um, files will be stored. So you can see here's the one that I've just done before because it's not published, um, it exists there. And so what we can do here is we can either open up video files that we had rec recorded before but hadn't uploaded um, or we can use in the top right hand corner here we have the import function and so we can actually import a video file um, into this um, editing system here in, in canvas studio so if i select import uh, and then what i'm going to do is just locate a video file so i have on here I'll just bring in this video file here. It's the one that I downloaded earlier. And I can open this up and you'll see now that's taken me to that same editing screen that we saw before. And here we can do all the same thing. So I can trim the start and the end. I can give it a title. I can say re-edited intro. Um, and then I can even go back into this editing screen here where I had all of these extra editing tools um, like the ones that I have here. So that's that's kind of the workaround and, and you can do that multiple times. The difficult thing here is the way to get to that section is you just have to make that small little um, you know one second recording in order to get to um, that section there. When I'm happy with that, uh, with the re-edit, I just go straight down here to my upload and I upload it as normal. And you'll see now I have two lots of this video. I'll have the original one um, and I will have the re-edited one as well. So that's just a nice little workaround um, and something good to know about, particularly if you have a video file that perhaps you didn't get to finish videoing um, or maybe your computer crashed and, and you're thinking, oh, you know, I've lost all that work. Well, it should actually still be saved in that area. So good to know about a little bonus tip. Um, and once again, hope you have enjoyed this video series. All the best. See you soon. Thanks.